decades. The monster truck thunder drags pound into your living room. Who will be left standing? You'll find out next on the Outdoor Channel. If you like trucks, better yet, if you like monster trucks, this is your time. This is your place, ladies and gentlemen, the Allen County Fairground in Lima, Ohio. This is the world of trucks. Hello, everyone. I'm Claude Wood, and today, the specialty, monster trucks. I mean, how can you have a show on TV or anywhere else about trucks without talking about monster trucks, the granddaddy of them all? And I'm standing right now on what will be the finish line. It's almost, well, it is. It's a drag race. Both monster trucks line up down there, go over a couple of jumps, a row of cars, and then floorboard it, headed straight for the finish line right here. The deal is, who crosses first? That is who wins. Now, when they come down, yeah, in qualifying our eight field, they've already crushed quite a few cars by the end of today. They will be flat. Now, for more on today's activities, let's go to Griff Allen. The conditions here this weekend in Lima, Ohio, dodgy. Maybe that's the best word to describe. A lot of moisture soaked deep in. Now, remember, the whole trick to winning in monster truck racing is suspension setup. Don't forget the bottom end of that is the tires. Now, how are they going to bite in? How much air pressure? How much material do you take off? All these questions are going to be focusing on this part of the racetrack is the dirt. And Mark Hall, half of Hall Brothers Racing, and you're in the Dodge this weekend. You're having a good weekend so far, but the weather now is not like it was. What's your strategy? I don't know. Uh, you know, the tracks change a little bit. We move the lanes around a little bit. Uh, it's definitely drier than it was, so uh, that'll that'll definitely uh, make a big difference. But you know, our big Dodge is running good for us, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Some of truck style, you've got full cleats on your tires. Is that going to be an advantage, or a lot of other guys got them cut back? Well, I think it was an advantage yesterday with the slick conditions, and we had a little fuel system problem, but uh, I think it'll be all right today. We'll be able to get some traction. Hopefully, this truck will get down the track. You know what? The racing surface is like one dark secret. On top, you can see it's pretty dry and lightly colored, but you don't have to dig up much dirt before you find it to be very dark and moist. For more on this strategy, let's check in with the doctor, Doc Riley. Well, Grip, let's take a look at a big 10,000-pound vehicle. It is a monster truck. And what differentiates a monster truck between anything else in the truck world really are the tires. Now, we're going to go through and show you a good front to back on this. These tires actually start like a regular tractor tire with a big lug right here. Crews shave all of this off, and they save about 400 pounds doing that. Additionally, there's some grooving in here that helps a lot with weight, but also on a slick track like today, kind of gets all that mud through the channel back to the sidewall. What makes a monster truck tire? 66 inches tall. Now, these bad boys cost about 1200 bucks a piece. So when you pop one of these, you can get tears in your eyes. Let's go from the tires, the big wheels, to the driveline. There's driveline brakes in here, both front and rear. That helps stop this monster truck on a dime. And from time to time, you need that. Also, suspension. Remember the old leaf spring trucks? Not anymore on a pro monster truck that's racing. You've got the shocks with the shock accumulators. Also, the stubbers that are down there. When you come off of a jump, you've got a 10,000-pound vehicle in the air, and it's literally crashing to the ground. You'll also see the strap in there. That restrains it coming back up the other way. Inside the cab, not much of the way of creature comforts, I'll tell you this, because the big dog, Doug Nolke, well, that's his office right there. The fan, that's not standard equipment. Very, very wet here trying to dry that seat out. At the very back of a monster truck, the first thing you'll notice in the bed of the monster truck is the fact that the engine sits in that bed and it's turned around facing the rear of the truck. Reason for that is as much airflow as possible. 575 cubic inches, that is the limit in monster truck racing. Most guys run at about 572 cubic inches. You notice the difference between the front and the rear tire? A little bit more angle right here. Didn't quite shave it back off. Being able, again, to put a little more power through these 66-inch Goodyear tires. On the very back of a monster truck, well, Steering can be a bear from time to time. What you do here is hydraulic rear steering. You'll be able to see the hydraulic lines that come back off here. This allows the driver to take a toggle switch in the very front and take those tires and move them, crab walk the vehicle if you need to. Lots of innovations have gone into monster trucks as well as lots of monster truck safety. The big dog's the number one qualifier here in our monster truck thunder drags. Thanks, Doc. Taking a look at the ladder, this is the way it'll shape up for today. Now, coming into this event, Raminator, Bigfoot, Big Dog, all tied with 600 points. What a day this is going to be. World of Trucks, brought to you by Summit Racing Equipment. 35 years of low prices, 
and expert advice. And by stainless steel brakes, performance brakes built right by stainless steel brakes. And by Tornado, don't drive without it under the hood. Round one coming up. Trucks, the four-wheel Jamboree Nationals from the Allen County Fairgrounds, Lima, Ohio. I'm Claude Wood. Joining me in the booth today will be our expert analyst, Griff Allen. And Griff, what a day this is going to be. In fact, it is, Claude, and I think all these competitors are trying to find the right setup for these conditions that have been changing all throughout the weekend. You can see Doug Nolke, the driver of Big Dog, our number one qualifier this weekend, rolling up the ramp. And what he's doing is he can't see over the hood to look at the ramp conditions. He's looking through a plexiglass floor to look at his launch pad as he goes up against Greg Adams in Summit Truck Style. And Griff Nolke, of course, relatively new to the sport, joining it in the year 2000. Nolke not looking like much of a beginner there as he pounds out the wind over Greg Adams. Greg having a little bit of setup trouble this weekend, couldn't quite find it. And Doc Riley is with our winner. That, the number one qualifier, first round win right there, gotta love it. Oh man, this is great. Uh, the track's totally changed from yesterday. I mean, it was a little tackier, it's a little drier today, but uh, she's still hooking up real well and uh, going for a heck of a ride down there. Griff, probably one of the most easily recognized monster truck driver in all of the sport has to be Bigfoot. Claude, you know you're right. Dan Runty right here from Freeport, Illinois, has got more seat time than any other driver out there, being the innovator, being the first monster truck. And like you said, Griff, conditions are changing, but it's an even playing field today for everybody. Runty advances and Vodders with a wild ride. Sans wheel, take a look, watch it go. Skyward is gonna bounce, and good thing, no spectators there, very safely operated events, nothing but a lot of monster truck excitement. Hey, anybody want a job as a wheel man? Are there times when you can I've over overthink things a little bit when you get down there and you got a horrible situation? Does that ever happen? Absolutely. I mean, it just it's something that you got to pay attention to every time in a monster truck because they never quite do the same thing twice, you know, back to back. So it makes it tougher on us. I mean, it makes it tougher on the crew. Track conditions changing all the time. It's just a tough deal. We've got to take a look at that one one more time. Griff, let's go to the replay exactly. Where did it go wrong? Well, right at the beginning, Vodders gets a wild launch. you got to remember, these trucks weigh 5 tons, 10,000 pounds, and if something isn't tightened down or if a metal is stressed, it can break. Now, look how cleanly the wheel comes off. I don't think a spindle broke. It could be one of a couple other things, but glad to see the situation ended safely. You know, I, I was with Bigfoot, and then all of a sudden, it just started getting away from me. I tried staying with him, and... I thought I broke a spindle at first. We broke a wheel flange, but uh, we'll get through this. We're going to get it fixed and get back for freestyle. Now, Griff, I think he stuck his head out the window and said, you picked a fine time to leave me, loose wheel. Coming to the line now, say hello to your number four and to number five qualifiers. This will be sudden impact, driven by John Cesock, and his competition will be Ramunition Dodge, driven by Dale Benear. And you know, Claude, Dale got into the monster trucks by being a crew member for Hall Brothers Racing. He got bit by the bug, and now he's in the driver's seat. What can he make of it? Apparently, a wild ride on the part of Sudden Impact. Ramunition able to hook it up and drive it straight down the lane for the win. Dale, with only three years' experience, he's with Doc. Do you detune? I mean, yesterday's sloppy. It's just kind of messed. Do you detune the motor coming into today? No, not really. Uh, we just got to, you know, play with the play with the throttle and everything. We worked the clutch a little bit last night and everything, and uh, put different trans in. We put a fresh trans in for today. I blew a trans out last night, so uh, it man, it really hooked good there today, and, uh, and we're hoping to advance on to uh, make it to the final. This is nightmare. He's your number seven qualifier, Andy Hoffman, out of Huntington, Indiana, and he goes up against Raminator, the number two qualifier. This is Mark Hall. Yeah, half of Hall Brothers Racing, a legend in the sport. Mark actually used to race motorcycles, and he wanted a little more speed and horsepower. I'll tell you, he's got it right here with almost 2,000 horsepower underneath him. Good launch by both of them. As you see, Nightmare is struggling a little bit to find a lane, and that's the difference. You can see that the Raminator and Mark Hall is able to thunder straight on to the wind. Let's go on board, and you'll see just how violent the ride is. I think next to offshore power boats, monster trucks definitely beat you up. Well, it will be a nightmare for Andy Hoffman, but uh, another win for the Ram right here. Congratulations, man. Oh, well, thank you. You know, uh, Andy runs really strong. He's a good guy, good competitor. So, uh, you know, we knew he'd step it up a little bit for us, but our big, uh, our big Dodge Ram there ran good for us. What a semifinal this is going to be. Call it a battle of the badges. Ford versus Ford, Big Dog and Big Foot, Dodge versus Dodge, Ramunition and Raminator. Taking a little break in the action. This caught my eye. We've talked about work trucks. Well, look at this. It's the brand new 650, the Super Cruiser. 
and this is a real work truck. You know why? Well, it's working for these guys right here. Flowmaster on the manufacturer's midway has got everything. The exhaust technology leader right here. How can you tell a Flowmaster exhaust? It's got the good weld right in here. This is solid. You know, back in the good old days, you took your muffler off to increase that horsepower because of all the baffling, all the wad on the inside of it. But I'll tell you one thing, the folks at Flowmaster have designed things with the baffles inside. They've actually redirected things, get rid of that back pressure, and actually you get more and more horsepower. So these guys are putting it to work. Flowmaster is one of the many people that are here at the Jamborees that support the Jamboree series and also make sure that you're getting the latest in technology. Stay right where you are. More monster truck action when we come back. Welcome back to the world of trucks, the four-wheel Jamboree Nationals from Lima, Ohio. And coming up just for your pleasure, Big Dog and Big Foot. It doesn't get any bigger than this. But first, it's time for Performance Trucking, featuring parts and accessories to improve the appearance and performance of your truck. Brought to you by Summit Racing Equipment, 35 years of low prices and expert advice. Now, a lot of people know the name Holly as being synonymous with performance, especially the muscle cars from back in the 60s and those wars. Well, of course, when trucks and enthusiast trucks and performance in trucks got to be the name of the game, well, who else was going to be there but Holly? Let me show you something neat that they came out with. A lot of us, I'm sure, know the Street Avenger, but what about the Truck Avenger? I'm sure a lot of us like to take our carbureted beasts off-road, but the answer lies here. Just some quick features here. You find the electric choke here. No more heat riser. Those days long gone. Vacuum advance here controls your second two carbs, giving you power when you do need it on demand. And take a look here at the vent tube up at the top. You can see that it's made to accommodate the undulations and movement and extreme angles that you're going to get off-road on four wheels. And that compares over here to the street version. They're designed to stay flat all the time. You can see the vent tubes. They answer that there. Now, when you flip this carb around here, the Truck Avenger offers, of course, an integral filter, and of course, the metering blocks here, very well designed and engineered for off-road enthusiasts. And if you want to take it one step further, vacuum hookups on the south side of this definitely lets you hook up with your, your brake booster, or maybe your advance, anything that you need, those options are available from Holly. So a name that has been synonymous with carbureted performance for many, many years, once again, rises to the top. This product, as well as many others, are featured online at summitracing.com. Well, as we get set for the next round, it looks like you're going to be facing your teammate, Mark Hall, in the Raminator. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of a tough one there, you know, he's being my boss and everything, you know, brother-in-law. It's kind of a tough one, you know, but, we, you know, we, we like racing each other. Hopefully we'll have a good race and everything, and, you know, Dodge is going to come out on top, so either way, we win. Let's see what the owner thinks, Mr. Tim Hall. One thing's for sure, hopefully we get a Ram in the final. That's the main thing we need to do, but um, no team orders. They're going to run them heads up. we got to get uh, Ramunition wasn't able to be at the first event, so it needs points as bad as Raminator does, and uh, this special event's Performance Series Championship is important to Dodge. It's important to us, and um, one of these guys has got to win it. So um, heads up, we'll see what happens. Well, that's what the owner thinks. Let's see what the driver thinks. We've got Mark Hall over here in between rounds right now. Got to gear up, and you take on... A guy that's kind of special to you, Dale Manier over there in the uh, ammunition. Yeah, Dale's a good guy. You know, he's a, a, a good friend, and he's also my brother-in-law, so that works out pretty cool. But, uh, you know, he's also a good competitor, too. So we both want to win, and uh, our big Dodge Hemis are both running really, really strong. So it'll be, a, it'll be a good race. That it will. The Dodge is coming up in just a moment. But right now, it's Ford time as we take a look at Bigfoot, your number three qualifier. This is Dan Runty, and he will be going up against, of course, Big Dog, your number one qualifier, Doug Nolke. And I'll tell you, Claude, what a great matchup because we've got the legend Bigfoot with Runty against one of the most aggressive drivers out there, Nolke, and Big Dog will leave nothing to chance. Drivers are both race ready. They're both staged. Both of them get good solid launches. They're both off the first ramp equally. Both of them tracking straight towards the finish line. And just by about a tire width, Nolke and Big Dog is able to take the win and advance to the finals. As Reminator gets ready to do business, let's go down to Doc Riley. Well, you got to love that when you beat the old Bigfoot. Oh, man, this is awesome. It's crazy. Dan's a heck of a guy, man. They got horsepower in that thing. It's unbelievable. Uh, crazy race. Uh, yeah, that truck was all over the place, man. We were sawing. I wish you guys had some cameras in that thing, man. We was working hard at the wheel in that one. <laughs> well, Griff, it's a classic matchup. They're both backed, as we said earlier, by the factory, by Dodge. But a little bit of an edge has to go to Mark Hall. Well, you know, experience always does come into play, especially now the track conditions. we got to bring it up again. They've been questionable all weekend long. 
How do you read that? How do you make that perfect guess? Well, that comes with experience. Let's see if it plays out now. In the far lane, everything from the launch all the way through the finish line says Mark Hall, way to get it done. And get it done, he did. Now, if you've ever wondered what it's like to ride along with 2,000 horsepower underneath you, this is what it's like, Griff. Incredibly violent. You can see the inset that shows what the truck is doing while you're experiencing it from the driver's perspective. What a treat. Well, that was a good one. It was a good run. And uh, like I say, Dale, uh, he's our teammate now and a good friend and, uh, and a heck of a competitor. You know, we knew he'd, we knew he was going to run hard. We knew what he had over there, you know. So, uh, but uh, it just worked out to the, the big red one won this one. And it's going to be happy hour. What a final this is going to be. Big Dog and Raminator. Doesn't get better than that. And why? Because coming in to Lima, Doug Nolke and Mark Hall were tied dead even. 600 points. White knuckle time. Next. Brought to you by Summit Racing Equipment. 35 years of low prices and expert advice. And by stainless steel brakes. Performance brakes built right by stainless steel brakes. And by Honda. The power of dreams. Griff Allen, clog wood on the edge of our seat. And not only us, but Griff, standing room only. Everybody here at Allen County really waiting for the finals. Once again, Doc Riley. It's going to be one of those Ford... Dodge matchups right here. Of course, the big dog Ford right now, and you match up against the Raminator. Lots of horsepower. Oh, yeah, those guys, they got some power in the old Dodges. But uh, we've been running them pretty tough this weekend. Uh, we got number one qualifier. I think we beat him by about two tenths yesterday, so we had a good good day yesterday at the qualifying. Any strategy going into this one? Uh, run my own race. Don't worry about who's in that other lane with me. I got to do my own thing, and we'll see how it comes out. Go get him, dog. All right, thank you. Thanks, everybody. And Doc also had a chance to talk with Mark Hall. Well, with the big dog, he's ready to go. He's the big Ford. The big Dodge right now is the Raminator. A lot of heavy horsepower up against the dog and a Ford in the finals. It'd be a good one. You know, the big yellow Ford over there runs pretty good. And they're a good team over there. Great, uh, great bunch of people and uh, good guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully our big Dodge, uh, I think it's got something for them. You know, Griff, on paper, I don't think we could have planned this to be any better than what it's going to be. You know, I have to agree with you. Doug Nolke, incredibly aggressive, will stop at nothing to win, but you know what, take nothing away from Mark Hall's driving ability. That hemispherical head on that combustion chamber, it just generates gobs of horsepower. He's got the tire set up and the suspension set up to mow down the competition. He's been doing it all through the first few rounds, and now he's gotten himself into the finals, Claude. Is any lane better than the other? Yes and no, it all depends. That's the trick, is how can you read it? Wheels up, launch for Big Dog, but look at the chassis squad on Raminator, who better find a lane at the line. Big Dog was able to drive it straight and take home the win with a nice little slide to the stop. Yeehaw! Battles are won or lost on the starting line. This one pretty much even, Griff. Or they're won and lost in the pits. Look at the weight transfer. I talked about suspension setup. Look at Big Dog's weight transfer. All that weight rocking onto the back tires, able to dig in and get the win. And Doug Nolke's crew says, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. Let's go down now and check in once again with Doc Riley, who has caught up with the monster <laughs> truck Thunder Drag new points leader. Doc. Good job, man. man, you too. Yeah, right. Holy cow. Oh, boy, what a... What a wild one right there. I tell you, oh, when you got man. into no man's land right there, there was a lot of horsepower oh, between buddy. two tough running monsters. I'm telling you what, that is awesome. I mean, you can see, man, we both can see each other in our peripherals. I know it. So it was a close race. It's awesome. I mean, hopefully the fans can see what we were seeing. Oh, this is a great day for the dog pound. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it. You know, yeah. it is neat. we've told this story before, but let's tell it again. The fact that you, you came in and mud racer, rest right. of, raced on the four-wheel Jamboree Nationals, always wanted to be a monster truck driver. It's gotta, you got to be living your dream, man. Oh, this is. I mean, it has been. I mean, we come to the Jamborees mud racing, Dan and all those guys always hanging out in the pits, picking their brain. You know, it's like I tell Brenda, my wife, just say, man, I want to do that one of these days. And luckily, we're here living a dream, and it's it's been awesome. I mean, you got your ups and downs, Doc. I mean, today's awesome day. We break stuff all the time. I mean, you know, it's just you got to keep battling, man, against these big guys. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And congratulations from us in the booth as well. You knew from the very beginning, Griff, this one would come right down to the line. Look at the points leader, big dog, but not by much. Yeah, I'll tell you, the competition is tight. It is fast and furious. Travels all throughout the Midwest and the Northeast. Look for it near you. Oh, here comes something. Freestyle, no rules here. Just let her go and then press the crowd.
you know, I think the only rule is that there is a clock that they put on this. Maybe a minute in some cases, maybe two or three minutes, but the fans love this. They will stay and just not go home to watch the best anything goes monster truck competition anywhere. Slap wheelie right there coming off a launch. You bounce the front end into the sky and put the power down at just the right moment to get it done. And I'll tell you, the Nightmare, one of the best at getting it done. Little, little reverse action for you there. Shows you how wild it can get, especially <laughs> when things break loose. And let's take a look at Sudden Impact. This is John Seesock, Vice President of the Monster Truck Racing Association Safety Group. Yeah, safety very strongly looked at here as you watch Seesock with the no-handed donut. No hands on the wheel and got that rear steer locked sideways. And here comes Mark Hall in the Raminator. Been in this business, Griff, since 1986. Yeah, and he's another one that's living his dream. Used to come to the uh, 4x4 shows as a spectator and as a participant in other aspects of it. Now he finds himself behind the wheel. Big dog going for the slap wheelie there. You got to love it. That's how it's done right there. You get that reflection off the front axle, and then just the right amount of throttle is how you carry that. Oh, the crowd just ignites when these things happen. Mike Vodder, the Black Stallion, maybe the most aggressive freestyler that you will find anywhere. Trying for the slap wheelie there, not quite able to connect it. Maybe he can get it here, or, or maybe he can put it on the lid. And look at the crowd. They can already see inside that he's moving around. He's very well protected, very safe setup. Take a look at this reaction. Oh, he loves to be the showman. The Black Stallion, Mike Vodder. And that is what you call a show. Got their money's worth today. If you love this one, join us next Wednesday. It's Tough Trucks, once again from Lima, Ohio. Now every monster truck is purpose built, but a lot of the tough trucks started out as production vehicles, although some classes are purpose built. It's sure to be exciting, Claude. That it is, and that puts a wrap on monster trucks for today. For Griff Allen and Doc Riley, Claude Wood, so long everyone. If you would like to obtain a copy of today's program, log on to masterstv.com.